This thread has taught me that a lot of people don't know what a double standard is. I agree with this double standard. I'm not even being sarcastic when I say this. Sort by controversial. It's the only way you're going to find actual answers to the question. The ones downvoted are the only ones that actually answered the question. Why do so many people not know what a double standard is? I like how every comment that's a real double standard someone agrees with is downvoted into oblivion. Edit. Wow, incredible, nearly 800 upvotes on this comment. Yet still all the opinions downvoted good oblivion. Curious thinking face. One of the more common ones I've seen was that they'd congratulate a male student fucking a female teacher. But if it were the other way around they'd kill the teacher. M teacher and F student is always rape. But F teacher and M student is always sex. That double standard has led to male abuse victims not being taken seriously and on top of that, makes them out to be some constantly horny animal. I feel like people here don't know what a double standard is. That's such a double standard to say. Tall people should have to reach the high up things, especially if they put them there in the first place. Am tall. I understand it's my societal obligation to reach the tall shelf. However, I will not intervene in the affairs of the little people. I will make myself available should the call for help arise, but I will not offer as to demean the shorter society. This is my oath. Police and politicians should be held to a higher standard than the average person. They need to be reminded of the servant part of public servant. We don't work for them, they work for us. The police's job is to ensure public order and security. To make sure that I feel safe walking down my street at night, and someone I can turn to when there's some kind of emergency. The politician's job is to ensure that we have the necessary requirements in order to keep our society stable. Policemen should get way more severe sentences than the average Joe for any type of crime they commit. Same with lawyers and judges. The average man is 60% stronger upper body, 40% stronger lower body, and is taller than the average women. We pick up the heavier stuff. Edit. First ever 1k upvoted comment for me. Thank you. Edit 2. I'm talking about outside the workplace. Those hired should always check the box for being physically capable of doing all duties they are responsible for. I agree. I outweighed my slim EXBF by 40 pounds, and I am no stranger to flinging 90 pounds hay bales or moving concrete, but he could outdraw me on a bow by double. It was insane to see how strong even the smaller statured men were. After years of living with my girlfriend, I'm starting to be conditioned to believe that only men are capable of putting the toilet seat down. Why don't people just shut the lid completely? Doesn't make sense to have it wide open for stuff to fall in. Children get priority. They eat first and go hungry last. They get as many blankets as they need before anyone else gets any. Us adults can cope with things just fine. Those kids are only here because of things we adults did so it's our moral responsibility to take care of them. Not just the moral obligation, there's the biological imperative too. Malnutrition, extreme mental and physical distress are more costly to children in the long run. Childhood trauma will cause long-lasting damage to them physically and emotionally. Dot. Adults are typically at a place where they're better equipped to handle the distress, their bodies no longer needing to grow taller or anything. Not to mention the mental fortitude that comes with having seen some shit. Married guy here, if it's scary, gross or heavy it's mine to deal with. Just what it is. Scary or heavy, that's mine. Gross? Sometimes mine. But when Mr. Whiskers, not our cat's real name, brings home presents, Mrs. Gunner deals with it. I don't like thieves, but I respect a good con. Nicholas Cage in Matchstick Men. Must watch. Sorts by controversial. Edit. My comment became controversial eyes. That's honestly the best way to get answers sometimes. Also it's hilarious. Also distressing. Men are naturally stronger. We should pick up the heavy stuff. Not that women shouldn't pick up stuff. But both parties should sit down and do a strength to weight ratio analysis to see who has to carry the jug of milk. Conversely, if this woman is a competitive powerlifter who can deadlift more than me, she's doing the heavy lifting. 
I've also been put to shame by a lady working at a hardwood store. She transferred the wood flooring to my dad's truck twice as fast as me. Sheep go to heaven. Goats go to hell. Oh no. Goats are the best. Dot dot dot. And now I have a song stuck in my head. Peeing into the pool is not as reasonable as peeing in the pool. I think peeing into the pool is more based because you're standing up for your actions. Female only gyms. Honestly as a guy the first wouldn't mind an all guy gym either. Before I started working out and taking care of myself I was incredibly insecure and shy. Even knowing a girl was in the same gym as me would distract me to much. Not because I was stealing glances, but because I was overly conscious of how I looked while exercising. Which I knew wasn't flattering. It took a lot of personal growth for me to be able to run in public and such, especially in front of women. And to be frank the majority of women and men benefit from different exercises. Or different intensities at least. Different anatomy and different biology. Having gender-specific gyms makes sense, and would probably increase productivity as you mentioned. And actually decrease injury in general. Percent of temp bathrooms for women on a job site. One woman on job site, one porta potty. The 100 men on same job get six. Didn't realize they divided them up. Why don't 101, people, just use the same seven porta johns? Any double standards based on facts. It's never about how you personally feel about the facts, that's how you end up with regrets in the long run. You can't base anything on facts just on how they interact with your value system the same way a hard drive can't make decisions without a computer that is programmed with an objective. Using the product or creation of a monster. There's nothing wrong with me listening to R. Kelly or watching the Cosbys, as long as I can admit they were monsters. What if we find out the guy who invented seatbelts was a rapist? We just not gonna use seatbelts anymore? Clyde R. Seatbelt was a great man though female-only gyms. I get it. Women want to work out without being ogled, hit on, mansplained, etc. It's not an indictment of all men, but there are enough men who do that kind of stuff that you will have to deal with it in a co-ed gym. As someone with a spouse who has been harassed at the gym before for her weight, I 100% support women-only gyms. Not that women don't harass other women about their weight but it's much more common for men to do so. Here's my full list. I completely agree with. I should be allowed to play with, squeeze, and smack my girlfriend's butt without fear of my booty being likewise molested. 22 years total with my wife. Dot and I can't keep my hands off her ass. If that thing gets anywhere near me, I'm grabbing, groping, and smacking. On any given day it gets handled 5 to 6 times, easy. And in that 22 years she has not said a word about it. Actually sometimes, she be walking past and intentionally rub it against me. I like American culture. I don't eat hamburgers. I don't either, that's why I eat cheeseburgers. Men, for the most part, should be expected to do more of the physically intensive work. Not saying women can't or aren't able to do it, but the average guy is probably at least slightly more capable of doing heavy lifting than the average girl. Feel like this is just a fact of life that shouldn't be bogged down by social justice. Dot. And before y'all make assumptions, this doesn't mean I think women deserve to be in the kitchen or some shit. Both men and women are very capable of mackin' sandwiches at the same ability. You better believe my sandwiches are pretty mean. Kids should dress in age-appropriate clothing, but also stop sexualizing kids. How is that a double standard? That men hide emotions. I will continue to do it until I meet someone who I can share them with. Hey, do you want to have a chat? Man to man. You shouldn't have to hide your emotions. It's really not healthy. Being guarded and being closed off are two different things. The standard serving for double stuffed Oreos is two cookies. I agree with a double standard. Semicolon closing parenthesis. I see PPL here have no idea what a double standard actually is.